Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale of LearningDSLRVideo.com and I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> the reason I'm in the bathroom is because of these lights. These lights are fluorescent and they give a very unique color temperature. And uh, I've got a piece of whiteboard on the toilet. <laughs> when I go to white balance, you can see the color of the screen change, especially with the white in the background. Um, that's on automatic white balance, which is not doing a very good job. Uh, that's daylight, cloudy, oh, shade, cloudy, uh, tungsten, I think, fluorescent, uh, flash, custom, which I'm about to talk about. All right, my question is, I've heard that custom white balance is not applied to raw images. And this will kind of get to video in a minute, but so I'm going to take a picture, um, and you'll see that I'm on automatic white balance. So I take a picture of the whiteboard, right? And then I go to menu, custom white balance, set, say OK, and now I go back to picture mode, make sure it's on custom. Okay, now it's on custom, and then I'll take a picture. Well, these pictures I just took, I am in, oh, let's go back here. As you can see, that was in large, the large setting, which is a JPEG. So I'm gonna change that to raw, and I'm gonna take a picture. And I'm gonna bring that to the Lightroom, and what I've noticed is that is the same I'm going to hit playback. Alright, here is the raw, here's the JPEG, no difference, and there's the original. So, the JPEG and the raw look identical on the back of here, and on the back of the display is probably displaying a JPEG, because it's got to display something. So, I'm going to take it in the Lightroom and take a look at it there, and which I've done before, and it looks identical. So, I don't understand when people say that custom white balance is not applied to RAW because not only does it apply it on the screen and the back of this camera but it applies it to Lightroom as well correctly so I use custom white balance on RAW all the time and how does this apply to video? well it applies to because the more I can learn about you know anytime there's something in JPEG it usually relates to video because everything in video is kind of like a JPEG, it's compressed. Whereas RAW is not compressed from what I understand. Alright, so there's my question. Anybody have an answer?